Hey guys, I'm Buck Weezer, putting the do into do-it-yourself. And I'm here today with a John Deere LA-135 Special Edition. Now this tractor is stored outside year-round, so it's filthy dirty, but you know what, it runs pretty good. Problem now is when you engage the cutting deck, engage the blades, it makes a horrible, horrible uh, whining noise and uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it because I'm not gonna bother to start it up and let you hear it but there's something going on with this deck so let's see if we can repair it together I'm gonna start by just yanking the deck out from under the tractor and then we'll be able to see a little bit better what's going on <coughs> well here's the deck let's take a closer look it really <coughs> excuse me doesn't seem in too bad a shape. Uh, a lot of dirt sitting up on top of here. As I said, this guy keeps it year-round outside, so the squirrels have been having fun. It's all chewed up by squirrels along here, here. So both of those spindle covers, this is all chewed up by squirrels. I say we re replace them. I think the squirrels would appreciate a fresh, fresh couple of covers, don't you think? So taking a look at this deck, uh, you know, the cable attaches here. So when you pull, pull it to engage the blades, this pulls back. Everything there seems to work okay. These brakes release from rubbing against the main pulley spindles. That's appropriate. Uh, this pulley seems to spin freely and quietly. This guy, however, appears to be a problem. See how loose that is, even though this is fully tightened? Sloppy, real loose sloppy. That is, that's what I suspected to be the big issue here. I don't know for sure, but definitely gonna replace that guy. <clears throat> I wanna take these covers off, remove the belt, and then make sure these spindles are spinning smoothly. Uh, so taking the covers off to check out those spindles will be our next step. Probably clean all, clean all this dirt off the deck as well. Deck doesn't look too terrible in terms of rust. And there's some rust here, but still feels pretty solid as compared to some decks that I've seen. Well, I think we've just identified the main culprit in our deck issues here. And it would be this guy right here. Oh boy, see that? He's definitely bit the dust. Yeah, back here you can get a little closer view of what's going on with him. See that there? Yeah, he's, uh, he's in bad shape. Definitely gotta replace the spindle. While we're here, these blades are toast. They're no good anymore. So I think I think I think what we're gonna do is uh, just rebuild this entire deck with two new spindles, uh, two new pulleys, uh, two new idler pulleys. These are probably okay. These big pulleys here, new belt, new blades, and of course that spindle is a big problem we got to resolve that too we'll get a couple of new covers since the others have been chewed up by the squirrels and <clears throat> we'll do pretty much a, a thorough rebuild of this deck let's see if we can get this pulley off I don't know if this small impact will do it probably not but actually it will that's not bad maybe get this guy while we're at it Okay, good. I'll have to pop that pulley loose. Let's put this guy back on temporarily. Uh, 
go. And he's off. Yeah. Pretty chewed up, eh? So we'll do that the other side, and then we'll remove these. These look like about 10 millimeter. I'll take it out on the other side. I might should remove the blade first on the other side while we're at it. I think that would be a good idea. Easier to do that while it's still mounted to the uh, deck. different size. This guy may not come off with the impact. No, we'll have to get a pri uh, uh, breaker bar and, and a block of wood to hold that blade still. There's our block of wood. And this is our breaker bar which is actually an old torque wrench, but I've never used it as a torque wrench. I bought it as a yard sale. It's just a big ratchet to give me some serious leverage. Oh, boy. Go the rest of the way, maybe. All right. So we're gonna get us a new set of blades. Okay. Yep. Pretty chewed up. Pretty, pretty chewed up. All right, let's see if we can get this off with our 10 millimeter. These may break off, I don't know. That's great. All right. So yeah, there he is. It's a well-destroyed spindle. All right, I'm gonna take the other one off and uh, clean the deck up, go order some parts. <clears throat> Welcome back. Uh, here we are. We've got all the parts to rebuild the cutting deck here laid out in front of us. So I want you to know, I did not buy uh, John Deere uh, name brand parts. I decided to rebuild this deck with aftermarket parts and I went with Oregon. And two spindles, a belt, two idler pulleys, the two blades. Um, that was a kit that cost about 150 bucks. So we're saving a little money, and I think it's probably worth it considering how much time is left on this tractor. I did also buy these uh, pulley covers for the deck since squirrels had chewed up the other ones. And of course, these aren't available aftermarket. Those are genuine John Deere parts. But we've got it laid out for us here, and then over in this corner are the uh, 
the parts that we're going to reuse from the from the old deck to put it back together. So we're going to bring the deck over and uh, have some fun uh, putting all together with these new spindles and parts. All right, so the process, we're ready to start putting in these spindles. They're going to come up from the bottom. These holes are not threaded, so hopefully our, our bolts will be self-tapping. I'll put some lubricant on those threads, go through the deck and into the spindle. So let's go ahead and get it up in place. that and it's a 3 8 head on this bolt so we'll use a screw gun to put it in place let's use a little bit of a deep creep lubricant and uh, keep our fingers crossed Oh, that went great. Not entirely lined up. Loosen a little bit here. There we go. I like that. I think I'm going to lubricate all my bolts at the same time. There we go. Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh, that's great. That's one down. Came with plastic caps to protect the threads top and bottom. We'll just leave them on for the time being. And we'll get that second spindle in place. that pretty much all right they went in really nice the little impact did a good job and I got a 6.38 socket which uh, I like so it doesn't strip out all right that was that 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 step was piece of cake all right, let's keep going. All right, let's go ahead and put these uh, belt pulleys on the top of the spindle. Seven eighths, that's the size that it was. Okay, good. Let's put on our idler pulleys. And uh, this big guy right there. Kind of feel like it should be a little stiffer on that on that stud than it actually is. I don't know if this is kind of worn down or what. We'll put the nut on it. Hopefully that'll help. There's no washer here. It's just the nut goes right down on top of it. Because this, this flange is the exact same size as the uh, as the bearing. All right. What size are those nuts? Nine sixteenths? Five eighths? That's funny. That feels a little loose to me. What size is this? Five eighths. 
and the 916 is too small. It's like they mix up metric and standard. 15 millimeter seems about right. Oh, that's that's good. Sp spins silently, nice and stiff and silent like that. All right, and then the other idler. This guy right there, same procedure. Now, when we go to put the belt on, we may have to loosen these and when we wrap the belt around. threads, 15 millimeter deep socket, there we go. Alright, so let's put the new blades on, got the deck standing up, and I had that lubricant, so I'm going to hit the threads that, and then we got the blade. beefy washer and then the nut and uh, we'll do that get them started both of them Those pulleys may turn a little bit. But well, I don't want my hands to get hit. No, you're good. All right, so we'll run them in with the uh, impact. All right, and so now I want to use a breaker bar to really torque them down. I don't, I don't know what the so I immobilized the blade that way with the block of wood. I don't know what the torque spec is, but we're just going to make them good and tight. This is an old torque wrench, but I've never used it as such. I bought it at a yard sale. I don't really trust it for a reading. I just used it as a to get some serious leverage. Oh yeah. Say they're on. That looks pretty good. <coughs> it's good having a helper. All right, so let's put the belt on. And uh, sometimes there's a diagram on a deck. This doesn't have it anymore, but that's okay. The routing is very, really pretty simple on this guy. So across the back, around both of those pulleys, the big spindle pulleys, and then up through here. So that's why I was saying that. You might have to loosen these pulleys to get the belt around them. Right? Mm -hmm. And once the belt's around it, we can tighten, tighten it down again. Same here. See, so this guy comes around like this. 
these on so we can tighten them up again. And then this of course comes to the front to your, you know, to wrap around the, the main pulley, PTO pulley, off the crankshaft. So it's a pretty simple uh, belt configuration. So now we can put the uh, pulley covers on. The old, old ones were chewed up by mice. Now, and these covers are, are, are more than just, you know, safety thing. They have a belt guide built into the cover. So that's kind of important. It's part of keeping the belt properly around the pulley, which is why I wanted to go ahead and make sure we got new covers for this. I hope the squirrels had a good meal. Great, that's beautiful. One more to do over here. That's it. I think that's it for the deck rebuild. New spindles, new blades. New pulleys, new belt, new pulley covers. Only thing we also could have done is paint it. <laughs> I got another video rebuilding one of these decks where I actually used some John Deere yellow, put a couple of coats of rust oleum on it. This one, not worrying about the looks, just the new components. All that remains is to hang it back onto the tractor, fire it up, and test it out.